Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import data from a website into Microsoft Excel and create a connection that automatically updates upon a simple click of the refresh button. With the Paris 2024 Olympics going on, I think this would be a great opportunity to figure out a way to track the medal counts in Excel. And with that said, let's get into the video. So here we have a fresh new workbook ready for us to import data into. So first, we're going to go up to the data tab and then from the options here, We'll select from web. This will open up a dialog box where we can enter in the URL of the website that we want to import data from. Now let's go to the website where we want to import data from and see what information we can import. So here we are on the ESPN website and scrolling down we can see a table here that contains the different countries along with the number of gold, silver, and bronze medals for each ending with the total column. So from here let's go up to the URL, right click, and copy then head on over back to Excel. So back in Excel, we'll right click and paste and then click OK. This will create the connection to the ESPN website and will also open up the navigation dialog box where we can see a couple of things. So the first thing to show are these two tabs up here. This first one is gonna show us what the information looks like in pure raw data format. And then clicking on the web view, we're taken to the web page that we were just on a couple of minutes ago. So let's go back to the table view and then pick one of our tables. So here looking at the preview, it doesn't quite look like the table that we just saw earlier. So let's check another one. So looking at this one, it doesn't look like the table either. So let's check one more. This one down here says total medals by country, which looks promising. And when I click on it, we can see here on the right that this is the right table. Now, if we wanted to, we could load the data as is by clicking this load button down here but after looking through the table, there's only one edit or transformation that I want to make to this, which is to split this group column into two, where one column is the country abbreviation and the other one is the country name. So to start transforming our data, we're gonna click this button down here, transform data, which will bring up the Power Query editor. So looking at our data, the group column is already selected for us. So all we have to do from here is select the split column command and then we're going to do it by number of characters. So we know that country abbreviations are three characters long so we'll type in the number three here and then we want to split it only once as far left as possible. Then clicking OK we've now split that one column into two. The last thing I'm going to do here is rename these column headers so this one I'm going to put as abbreviation and then here I'm going to double click and then type in name. Now our data is looking pretty good and ready to be loaded into our workbook. So let's click on close and load here and see what the data looks like. And wow, look at that. All the information is now displayed in our worksheet in Excel. Now that we've gone through all the steps, let's do it again with a different web page. So first, let's go to the data tab and then select from web. Let's go to the web page and grab that URL. So here we are back in the ESPN website and scrolling down, we have a table here for total medals by athlete. So let's go up to the URL, right click and copy, and then head on back to Excel. So back in Excel, we'll right click and paste and then click OK. So looking at the list of tables, it's probably this table right here. And yes, it is. And looking through the table preview, it looks like we don't have to make any edits to it, so we can just load the data as is. So we're just gonna click this load button down here. And bam, now we have two connections to the ESPN website that we can refresh as needed to load in new information. Now there are a couple of additional options that we can apply to these queries. So let's take a look at them. So right-clicking one of them, we can go to properties. If we can see here, there's an option here to refresh every couple of minutes. So by default, it's 60, but you can change that to whatever you want. And then there's an option here to refresh the data when opening the file. And this would be really handy if you need to see the latest and greatest information every time the file is opened. So then by clicking OK, you will apply those options to your query. And there we have it. We have two queries that are connected to the ESPN website that can be refreshed at any moment to take in new information. All right, so a couple of hours have gone by and I decided to put these two tables on the same worksheet. Let's say that we want to refresh the information with new data. All we have to do is go up to the data tab, 
and then click on Refresh All. And just like that, at a click of a button, we were able to bring in new information from the website. And that's how you import data from a website into Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.